congratulations, a tense and tight affair. How do you feel? I feel a big relief, man. You know, it's. Uh, I think it's the first time in my entire in my entire career that I make the seventh spot, no, tenth, tenth spot in the semis. That's a big relief, really. <laughs> we sat there watching uh, competitor after competitor coming past. What was going through your mind? I was. Uh, I kept believing, you know, I'm a religious guy and I have a big faith and uh, I was like, if it has to be like that, I just accept it and uh, I believe that I got my place in the final, at least for trying. Um, it was a sad run, personally speaking, I feel it, I feel sad for paddling so bad and struggling so much with the water. I love it, like, you know, just flying above the, the waves and, and uh, and uh, enjoy clean ups in the eddies and I was like I felt like a junior going down a course you know so that's a big relief and hopefully tomorrow I will do much better. Did you feel a weight of expectation from the home support? Definitely you know when you have this kind of hard run when you know that um, it's gonna be a pain all the way it's really good to have that support from the crowd and uh, being at home was like a, a little advantage today for me getting that support behind me. What will you do from now until the final to ensure that you have a, a better run for your words? Uh, let's say that now we are kind of playing seriously. Uh, usually the heats and the semis are personally um, like a step to reach the final. So it's not like I don't feel like I pedal uh, with all my, uh, all my potential. I kind of uh, control what I do and nowadays, you know, in the K1 class, you have to be like 110% directly in the semis. And after like 12 years of paddling at the top level, it's hard to get that, uh, to put that energy and motivation for the semis where you have everything to lose and just the, I mean, the right to try again in the final. It's not like if you were racing the final, you know. Every uh, run, you learn something. What did you learn from this semi-final run? Um, to never give up actually. Um, I knew that by training here, I knew that uh, it could be still like a good run if you just push hard, even if it's hard. And uh, so I tried to, to fit that plan, you know. <laughs> Obviously tomorrow you go in the C1 as well. Yeah. What will you uh, concentrate on between now and then? Um, first physio, definitely, <laughs> recovery. Uh, and. Uh, also a couple of exercises to switch mentally because uh, when I watched the demos and I was like already starting to think about righty, lefty because I can switch from a side to the other. Uh, so I will do some mental imagery where you imagine, you imagine yourself pedaling on the water to just switch in my brain the, the, the way I have to go on the lines and stuff. And then, you know, in C1, I really don't know what to expect. I will, as, as always, it's, it's my second season, so I will try to do my best. Well, congratulations. I know that the home support were absolutely ecstatic when you uh, finally qualified for the semi-finals. Yeah. So we look forward yeah. to seeing you again over the weekend. I, I really hope that I will paddle better tomorrow so that they can enjoy at least something cool. <laughs> well, thanks a lot for your time and uh, no go problem. and get your physio. Yeah, thank you, man. <laughs>